The movie begins by introducing us to the young protagonist, Vesper, who lives in a dystopian world sharply divided between the privileged elites and the struggling masses. The elite reside in secure, enclosed cities known as citadels, while the rest of humanity faces the challenge of survival in harsh conditions. In this world, the key to sustenance is unique seeds provided by the citadels. These seeds are genetically coded to yield just a single harvest, ensuring a constant dependency on the citadels for more. Vesper, amidst her struggle for survival in this harsh environment, shares her existence with her paralyzed father, Darius, a former army serviceman. Ingeniously, Darius's consciousness has been transferred into a drone, enabling him to accompany and communicate with his daughter as she navigates their dangerous world. Vesper is not only resourceful and brave, venturing out daily to forage, but she also possesses a keen understanding of biology and biohacking. However, their lives take a dramatic turn when Vesper returns home one afternoon to discover they've been robbed. The generator powering their home, including the critical machine sustaining Darius, has been sabotaged. Faced with no other choice to save her father, Vesper sets out to seek help from a neighboring farm. Upon arrival at the farm, Vesper encounters a troubling scene. The farm faces its own challenges with a jug, a genetically engineered human designed for labor, but devoid of intelligence. The jug has been injured, rendering it useless, and Jonas, the farm's leader and Darius's brother, instructs a young boy to kill it. After witnessing this unsettling event, Vesper approaches Jonas with a request for bacteria to restore their generator. In exchange, she offers a blood donation, a valuable commodity used by Jonas to trade for seeds from the citadels. Jonas expresses a desire for her to join their community, offering to care for her father as well. Vesper, however, is deeply unsettled by Jonas's intentions. She suspects that Jonas wants to use her as a breeder, a role she strongly rejects. After completing her blood donation, Vesper faces a dire situation when Jonas refuses to immediately provide the bacteria she needs in exchange. He explains that he must first sell the blood, a process that will take several days, time her father Darius does not have. In desperation and anger, Vesper attempts to reclaim her blood, only to be caught and forced forcefully expelled from the farm by Jonas. Undeterred, Vesper returns to the farm, exploiting a secret entry point known only to her. Vesper stealthily enters Jonas's lab and retrieves the bacteria she is owed. While there, she also manages to take some seeds acquired from the citadel. As Vesper heads home, she promptly repairs the generator and begins experimenting with the stolen seeds, hoping to unlock their fertility. In the forest, Vesper stumbles upon Camellia, a woman from the citadel, lying unconscious yet alive, with plants feeding off of her. Vesper acts quickly, clearing the plants and bringing Camellia back to their home, where she treats her wounds. Camellia then reveals that she was in the crashed glider Vesper had seen, and is now desperately searching for her father, who is with her. Although not fully recovered, Camellia promises a reward for their help. Vesper agrees to assist in the search, despite Darius's objections. The following morning, Vesper sets out on her mission and soon locates the crashed glider, finding Camellia's father Elias inside. However, she's not alone in this discovery. Jonas and a group of survivalists also converge on the crash site. Jonas, cold and indifferent to Elias's pleas, decides to end his life simply because he is from the Citadel. When Vesper attempts to intervene, Jonas dismissively shoves her aside. He also uncovers a woman's scarf in the glider, deducing that another passenger, Camellia, needs to be found. Back home, Darius suggests informing the Citadel of the situation before before Camellia takes any drastic action or Jonas finds her. However, the only way to communicate with the Citadel is through a transceiver located at Jonas's house. Vesper reluctantly agrees to the plan, lying to Camellia that her search was fruitless, but promising to continue the next day. After a while, Camellia earns Vesper's trust. Vesper then decides to reveal her secret greenhouse. This greenhouse is a testament to Vesper's ingenuity, housing a variety of bioengineered plants, each with unique abilities and characteristics, Vesper takes pride in her creations, but still hopes to develop a plant capable of producing edible seeds. While Vesper tends to her plants, Darius quietly confides in Camellia. He admits he knows they can never gain access to a citadel.
Citadel, but implores her to be kind, as Vesper's dream of reaching the Citadel means everything to her. Later, Vesper questions why they are excluded from the Citadel, to which Camellia explains the leadership's fear of resource scarcity. Vesper suggests they could take on the worst jobs, but Camellia points out the Citadel's preference for control. Unlike humans, the genetically engineered laborers, or jugs, don't resist. That evening, they share a musical moment, with Vesper singing while Camellia plays her mother's old instrument. The next day, Vesper once again sneaks into Jonas's house to use the transceiver. This time, however, Jonas spots Darius's drone and seizes it. While pretending to repair the drone, Jonas confronts Vesper about the missing seeds and the unidentified passenger, expressing his hatred for liars, especially within his own family. Vesper, refusing to admit anything, snatches the drone and flees, only to find it can't fly and crashes. In her attempt to recover the drone, Vesper stumbles upon a grim sight, the body of Jonas's assistant, who helped here before, left to die under a tree. Before she can process whether he was killed for aiding her, Jonas's followers apprehend her. They forcefully mark her hand with a seal, symbolizing her as Jonas's property. Distraught and overwhelmed, Vesper returns home, where Camellia immediately offers comfort. Guilt-ridden by her own deceit, Vesper breaks down and confesses to Camellia that Elias is dead. In a moment of stark revelation, Vesper decides to show Camellia the truth by taking her to see her father Elias's body, now tragically floating in the river. The sight overwhelms Camellia, leading to an intense emotional breakdown. She clings desperately to her father in grief, forcing Vesper to intervene and pull her from the river. During this intense moment, Vesper notices an unusual scar on Camellia's back that reacts peculiarly to her touch. This discovery leads to a shocking truth. Camellia is not a human, but a highly advanced jug, a creation of Elias who was expelled from the Citadel for creating an intelligent slave. Camellia confesses her deception. She had been on the run and never had the capability to get Vesper and Darius into the Citadel. Angered by this betrayal, Vesper confronts Camellia physically before they return home. Once there, Vesper coldly tells Camellia to leave after she cleans up. Meanwhile, Vesper repairs the drone and shares the day's event with Darius. Darius, understanding the complex situation, urges Vesper to be more compassionate towards Camellia, explaining that jugs are bound to their programming and have no real choice in their actions. At the same time, Camellia, grappling with her lost purpose and fearing capture by the Citadel, contemplates ending her life. However, Vesper, influenced by her father's words, intervenes just in time. Realizing Camellia's potential contribution to her research, Vesper proposes to use a sample of Camellia's cells. The process proves challenging, as Camellia's cells are secured just like the Citadel's seeds. In an attempt to ease Vesper's frustration, Camellia plays music. Miraculously, the music unlocks Camellia's cells, allowing Vesper to modify the Citadel seeds successfully, creating a sustainable food source. And all it took was a little nickelback. Needing more supplies for further research, Vesper briefly leaves for the old lab with the drone. During her absence, Camellia stays to watch over Darius, which leads to a dangerous encounter when Jonas arrives. Initially, Camellia tries to feign innocence, but Jonas sees through her act and threatens Darius's life. Camellia agrees to go with Jonas without resistance. However, Jonas soon discovers the mark on her back, identifying her as a jug, and attempts to reprogram her to obey him. Vesper returns just in time, and a fierce struggle ensues, with Vesper, the drone, and Camellia fighting against Jonas. They manage to overpower him, but Vesper refuses to kill him. Instead, she strikes a deal. She will share the secret of the fertile seeds with Jonas, if he agrees not to alert the Citadel. Despite Jonas's apparent agreement, he betrays them by contacting the Citadel and revealing Camellia's location. As night falls and Vesper completes her work on the seeds, their moment of triumph is cut short. Darius's drone detects an external threat, signaling the Citadel's approach. A weird organism invades their home, releasing a toxic substance. Darius, with his military background, quickly recognizes the danger and instructs Vesper and Camellia not to breathe until the threat subsides. Camellia, feeling responsible for the imminent danger, 
offers to surrender herself to protect Vesper and Darius. However, Darius refuses to let her sacrifice herself, knowing the Citadel will pursue Vesper regardless. Instead, he devises a plan to distract the soldiers, giving Vesper and Camellia a chance to escape. Vesper is initially reluctant to leave her father behind in the face of the impending threat from the Citadel's soldiers. However, Darius persuades her to take cover nearby, assuring her that he will handle the situation. He plans to tell the soldiers that there is no Jug present, drawing on his experience as a former army man to communicate effectively with them. As the soldiers approach, their first stop is Jonas's farm, where they eliminate him and his group. Meanwhile, Vesper and Camellia take painstaking efforts to make Darius's home appear abandoned. They cover everything up and take the valuable, unlocked seeds with them as they hide in the forest. Unbeknownst to Vesper, her father's actual plan is to sacrifice himself by self-destructing the drone, hoping to take the soldiers down with him. From their hiding spot in the forest, Vesper witnesses the explosion and, driven by desperation, tries to rush back to aid her father. Camellia, recognizing the danger of this action, stops her, reminding her that it's too late to do anything for Darius. Their situation worsens when two soldiers, having survived the explosion, start pursuing them. Vesper leads Camellia through a swamp, aware that it is filled with dangerous plants that could potentially eliminate their pursuers. Their tactic proves effective as the first soldier falls victim to one of these lethal plants. The second soldier, however, learns from his comrade's fate and cautiously avoids the same trap. Vesper and Camellia, in an attempt to remain undetected, crawl on their knees and hide behind bushes. Unfortunately, another plant betrays their position with a noise, alerting the soldier to their location. Facing imminent danger, Vesper and Camellia decide to take the offensive. They attack the soldier, seize his weapon, and manage to force him into the deadly plant's trap zone, resulting in his death. The distant sound of approaching gliders signals more danger. Realizing that the Citadel will never cease their pursuit as long as she is with Vesper, Camellia makes a difficult decision. She understands that Vesper and the precious seeds will always be in danger as long as she remains. Despite Vesper's protests, Camellia gently puts her to sleep and conceals her under fallen leaves before surrendering to the soldiers. The next morning, Vesper awakens to find her home reduced to ashes. She plants some of the unlocked seeds in the remnants of her old garden, a symbol of hope and renewal. In the aftermath, she encounters a group of children who survived the attack on Jonas's farm. Together, they decide to follow the mysterious people that wander around, seeking to uncover their destination. Their journey leads them to a towering structure constructed by these people. Driven by a sense of purpose, Vesper climbs to the top of the tower. There, she releases the seeds from her hand, allowing the wind to carry them to various corners of the land. This symbolic act represents her hope that the seeds will grow and multiply, providing sustenance for all. The movie concludes on this note, leaving a lasting impression of resilience and the enduring power of hope.